choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt ring. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. We're, we're on, by the way. Fucking hell, Coogan. Fuck you. Got too much money. <laughs> this is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV. Oi, keep it down over there. Just joking, lads. No, keep it fucking down. <laughs> or Coogan's coming. I don't know where he is, but I think he'll turn up. <laughs> do, do just hold it slightly more. Sorry, what are you mate. saying? We want to hear you. Yeah, how's life? I heard your show went really well the other day. The show was amazing. Um, one of our best. And I mean... Obviously, we've, we've put the work in, and when you put the work in, eventually the rewards are reaped. So I think that was our best show. I think we had eight fights, four knockouts, but a hell of a card. I mean, like, Albanian fans are great. Um, yeah, see so you holding the flag. Yeah, and um, we had um, one of our guys, Amar Kiani, obviously he didn't win that night. He fought good kid, but his fans were amazing as well. You know, hopefully he'll come back and you know, prove his worth and get redemption and continue to grow. It, obviously, it wasn't his night that night, but, you know, big him up, big up his fans. But listen, packed house. Tonight's packed as well. This is truly a, a special and amazing night. Dennis McCann has brought out the, the fans, but in it is a cauldron, you know what I mean? So, but Tolworth, listen, that's our York call, man. That's our baby. That's where we are, the home of Black Box Global. We do tend to go different places, but at the minute... This is where we're working, you know what I mean? But um, what, a, what a night 29th of July was. And now we're back 16th of September with a, another packed card that looking, we're looking forward to putting on a great show. Feel like the brand's really building? Yeah, do you know what is The team, the media team, the people that support all the guys that are in our stuff. I've got to big up my man Leon, who runs the Black Box page. Big, big, big part of this thing. He's, you know, he believes, everyone who's in the camp believes anyway in what we're doing and able to push the brand. And um, I think we've got a good team, good squad of people um, that push and believe and see a future in it. And I think we are growing slowly, slowly. The guys that came to us or who have made their debuts or was 1-0, or like 7 and 8-0 and 6-0 and 10-0 six and 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 soon, you know what I mean? So it, it's, a, it's a good growing platform where now and in 2024, we'll start to get guys title fights who are want to be in the mix. We've got guys who's 4 and 0, 5 and 0. So it's, 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 it's working, you know what I mean? Um, it's been a long, slow, slog, hard, long road, but, you know, you just got to stay disciplined and stay the course. That's good to hear. Was it difficult watching the other night, Joshua Hellenius? I mean, it was difficult because, you know, I, I watched it out with a few friends and family and I was just saying, you know, I felt like, you know, if Dylan was in there, you know, I think he would have put on a lot more Action pack f thriller, but you know what? I think maybe Joshua, Joshua would have books better because it was Dillian also. So, you know, I think they bring out the best in each other. But I feel like Dillian missed the opportunity there because I felt like Joshua could have been there for the taking. But you know, I like Joshua, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna pretend he's a guy from London, UK that's brung British boxing to the forefront. I know people are looking now at Tyson Fury who's here now. Not to say Joshua was here before him, but when Tyson Fury was in the wilderness, Joshua was the pioneer that brung forth the heavyweight boxing and UK boxing with matching. Plus, Dillian played his part as well. And then Tyson's come in later on and slowly started to build back and garner respect, obviously, off the trilogies with John Tewada. But long before that, Anthony Joshua was selling out arenas and doing his thing. He doesn't seem the same destructive, explosive... Um, monster that we we, we we know but saying that like he said it's boxing he's got a goal and box hit and not get hit but yet again he did take quite a lot of damage but you know I feel like Elanius is an underestimated quantity he, he he's, 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 he's tall he's rangy he's got a, he's got a, um, a very nice jab good right hand and can fucking punch and I know a lot of people don't maybe question it they look at that um Wilder got him out of there in one round, but I, I, more than anything, I just felt like he made an error and Wilder capitalised with that punching power. I felt it would have done, I felt it would have been a lot closer and a better fight, but listen, we've got to give credit to Wilder with that punching power. 
he just he, he shut all that shit down. You get what I'm trying to say? So, but look, you know, it was always going to be pressure on Joshua to try and emulate or stop him in a quicker fashion or a better fashion. And unfortunately, it was always he was always going to be against the, the runner play man because he got him out of there in like one round. How do you how do you top that? And if you stop him in the first shot, so it was always going to be against that, and there's always going to be questions and people comparing and so on. So. You know, big up Joshua, he managed to get it done. He got it done in emphatic fashion. Um, but going into that wilder fight, I feel like there's still more he needs to do. I don't know, it doesn't look like he's... That's a fight that's just around the corner. Wilder means business. And he will bring everything and punch with all his might. You know what I'm saying? Till this day. He ain't fucking around, man. Till this day. <laughs> Dean, I appreciate it's a confidence, confidential situation and, mm -hmm. and Matram who are putting on the fight, even those guys can't speak about it. Obviously, uh, a case with Dillian and his management team and his lawyers. What can you actually say about what happened? Do you know what? I don't really know much about it. I'm more in the Dean White black box global business. So when it comes to Dillian and stuff like that and what he does, you know, I'm not too sure. Obviously, we speak. Um, he actually phoned me not long ago, but obviously I was here, so hey, I'll ring you back. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, it's quite busy, so you know, I can't get to talk and have a chat with him. But um, look, I'm sure anything that's going to be revealed, him and his team will notify people, then they'll come forward, whatever they're going to come. There's not much I can do and talk about because I'm not privy to the stuff they're dealing with. Like I said, I just make sure he's okay and that um, he's in the best frame of mind as possible. So. Um, Oh, who's that again? Who's oh, my man. Oh, my man, that's who that is. Steffi Bull. Yes, yeah, so, you know, I was looking, thinking, who would throw in combination that day? <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, no, he's good, man. Look, I'm sure he'll vindicate himself and see. It's a bit of a strange one, though, but let's see how it all turns out, man. There's nothing much I can say. Oi, whoever's shouting back there, keep it down. Unless it's Linus, Shut then it I won't say it's... anything. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't you, though, was it, Linus? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you can speak as loud as you want. Uh, <laughs> uh, Go on. Dean, with that situation, obviously you'd have seen a lot of fans obviously jumping on his back. However, Dillian's point was, um, I saw his statement, he said he didn't even get a chance to clear his name or, or go through some sort of process you before and out. yourself, yeah. Now, in, in fairness, matrimony found out very short before the actual fight was going to take place. So may maybe that situation was out of their hands. But Dillian did have a similar situation with Oscar Rivas, didn't he, where he got exonerated? Exactly. So we, we can't compare the situations. You know, um, Dillian's had, you know, been unfortunate, we'd say. Um, but, you know, look, he's proven himself time and time. I'm sure in this instance he will continue to do so. That's all I can say. Thoughts on... I'm sure you'd have seen Eddie and, and Frank Smith saying, well, we've had a working relationship with Dillian, but we don't really know him that well since his situation's come about. I don't listen to those guys. Okay. I don't, I don't, I don't watch their interviews. I don't pay attention to them. Would, okay. Was that relationship broke down, would you say? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what kind of relationship. I know he fights for match room. I don't really... It's not really... I don't know. I've just been dealing with my business. Do you know what I mean? Nothing they do, Matchroom or Dillian or anyone, it doesn't affect me. I work and do my stuff. I don't get helped by anyone. I push my own business with my team and I concentrate on my business because, you know, uh, if I take my eyes off my own business, it will, it will fail and falter. So, I, like I said, I don't really pay attention to anything to do with them interviews. To be honest, I rarely watch any of these guys' interviews, if truth be told. Okay. So, it's just what it is. It's nothing... Person, I'm sure they don't watch my interviews either, so it's just what it is. You know what I mean? Well, a lot of people do watch your stuff, then. No, 100% they do, but I'm saying I don't particularly think they watch my stuff. I mean, who knows? I, I don't know, but I'm saying I don't watch their interviews really. I don't like, you know, it's not, I don't really, you know, I have in past, what I'm saying, of recent, I mean, I'm very busy. I've literally been doing a show literally every month. So, and it comes to that, I might watch maybe American stuff more guys, you know, Crawford was fighting, yeah. so I might prone to watch the interviews with that and see Errol Spence, you know, like Showtime um, and that kind of thing. So a lot of the stuff over here, I don't really try and pay too much. Uh, I ain't watched none of the interviews with regards to Dillian and his situation because I'm sure they're not going to be saying anything too clever. So, like I said, I just concentrate on Black Box Global business and, you know, when you keep yourself in your own lane, you know, good, prosperous things occur. So 
I just do my thing and concentrate because, like I said, no one ain't giving me an olive branch and no one ain't giving me a lift up. So, guess what? Stay in your lane, stay in your business. You heard me, partner? <laughs> Last one on Dillian. I'm sure uh, you want him to go through some sort of process and get his name clear. Now, obviously, he's not licensed with the board over here. He's got a Portuguese uh, boxing license. Is that what they told you? As far as I know. That's what, actually, that's what... Matram have said. I don't know where else. Someone did from. say that to me. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm just curious. I was trying to get some information and data from yourself. No, as far as I know, he's not licensed over here. <laughs> what I've heard from recent interviews, he's with the Portuguese board. But that that is information from Matram. I don't know. Okay. It might be something else then. No, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to get clarification. But okay. Well, you, surely though, you want him to go through a process and get himself cleared, Dean. I'm sure he will. I'm sure he will vindicate himself. I'm sure he will prove his innocence once again. And um, he'll be back. And he'll obviously, hopefully, be in the biggest fights as possible for him. And um, we'll just wait and see how that turns out. Last one, someone that Dillian manages in Fabio Wardley. We're hearing this fight with David Adelaide is going to happen. But it's first business, is it? What happened there? They've been delayed to September 13th, but from okay. what I'm hearing, a deal's going to be reached. Or maybe it has been, but it's not been announced yet. Mm -hmm. um, that's why you'd imagine the purse bids got pushed back because terms okay. are being agreed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very good fight for the British title. Very good fight. Very good fight. I mean, two hungry young lions doing their thing. Obviously, Fabio's continued to prove himself time and time again, um, winning fights that people say he shouldn't have won. Um, sometimes he's a slow starter, but he manages to come to the party. Once he gets clipped, he goes all Tasmanian devil and gets those motherfuckers out of there. David Adelaide doing these things as well, the good win against the big old Russian bear, whatever that guy's name was, here at the Ute Cool, you know that? Is it Russian bear? Oh, motherfucker, <laughs> he was something, he was some from Eastern European somewhere, do you remember that big Oh old? yeah, the last fight, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good win, good body shot, good win, but David's, you know, taking his time, gone to America, learning with uh, Sugar Hill and doing these things, he's, he's putting his money where his mouth is, you know, so he's doing his thing, but um, obviously... Fabio's our guy still, so obviously I'll be, you know, on that side of the fence, obviously. And uh, but I wish both guys well, man. May the best man win. You know what I mean? You coming to Poland next week? I don't come to Poland. I am very sorry. I will be in Albania. <laughs> Find me there. <laughs> give, give him any chance next week, Daniel Dubois. Uh, yeah, of course. Punch his chance. Yeah, I give him a punch his chance. I mean. It is what it is, isn't it? You know, it's boxing, heavyweight boxing like that. But then, like I said earlier to someone, I said, when people look at the fight, do we believe Daniel Dubois beats Anthony Joshua? I don't believe he beats Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua is a, a more sharper, more athletic, better mover. Daniel's a bit robust and he's strong. He's, got, he's meant to have great power. But I think the experience of Joshua, Joshua would be a little bit more experienced for him. But look... I, I, you know, all the best to him, man. I hope he goes out there and puts on a great performance and let's see what happens to him, you know what I mean? But I think you said goes out there, does his thing. Southpaws are always tricky and hard to beat. Let's see, man. I wish him all the best. Dean, appreciate your time. You're Team Thanks McCann tonight, actually. Team McCann. Yeah, team McCann. Signing out. Let me first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot up about it. Uh, must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt, man. Right, the bouncer's guilt in. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 